One of the main components of amniotic fluid is fetal urine, and so people are grossed out by that, but it's sterile. It's actually a necessary thing for the baby to have in, inside the womb, and it's a very efficient recycling system. The baby swallows it and pees it out and swallows it and pees it out. Other things like lung secretions, nasal secretions can, um, contribute, but the, the primary ingredient is fetal urine. So um, around a, a full-term baby, there's about two quarts of fluid, and it serves lots of purposes. It helps to cushion the umbilical cord, help with the baby's growth and development, their limbs, their lungs, lots of different things. So it's very important. If a doctor notices that your amniotic fluid levels are abnormally low, which is called oligohydramnios, or abnormally high, which is called polyhydramnios, then they're going to consider underlying causes. You have a specific question about polyhydramnios or high levels. Sometimes the cause can be linked to fetal anomalies or genetic abnormalities, but more commonly we just don't know what causes it. Sometimes it's due to maternal diabetes. Um, so if your, ab if your levels are abnormally high, your doctor again will look into certain things and rule out possibilities. It's something we think about for labor too, because if your water breaks when it's not under a controlled environment, sometimes the umbilical cord can slip out before the baby's head and that can cause a prolapsed cord. So if we know you have a lot of fluid, then we want to break the water under a controlled situation and just have it slowly leak out to reduce the risk of complications. And then of course, we do keep in the back of our minds the possibility that it might be linked to different genetic abnormalities. If those haven't already been ruled out on ultrasound, then we'll assess the baby after delivery. In your situation, I suggest talking with your doctor about it, and based on their knowledge of your circumstances and all of your ultrasounds, they'll be able to tell you what implications there are for you. If you have more questions for me in the future, feel free to ask them on our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash intermountain moms and recommend us to your friends and family too.